Starting this Sunday and every Sunday for the next six weeks, the Sanibel Causeway Toll Plaza will be waived as the county looks to stimulate business on Sanibel and Captiva in the wake of Hurricane Ian. I can come to Sanibel on a Sunday and there's no there's no additional fees for me to go out and do what I want to do, which is support my neighborhood, support my friends and family that work in these industries. John Lai, the president of the Sanibel Captiva Chamber of Commerce, says the businesses on Sanibel Captiva have come a long way since the storm, with nearly 120 of the 600 members of the chamber before the storm back open. The restaurants, these retailers worked very, very hard to get open very, very quickly. And they, you know, the, the entire goal behind that was not only so they could catch season, but also to, to give the momentum to the island that desperately needed winds. Beachgoers on Sanibel today responded positively by supporting the island's recovery. But raised the question, is six days of waves tolls enough to spark people coming back? And not just for one day, but for a long period of time so people can actually enjoy the island, realize it's a place they want to come back to, realize it's a place to invest in. Beachgoer Bill Deeruff, who happens to be the former mayor of Jefferson Town, Kentucky, feels having select days can send the wrong message. But if you get something out as grandiose as we want you to come, no matter what day it is, no matter what time you get off, it tells the people that we want you to come, not that we're just kind of thinking about it. I asked the chamber presidents about Deeruff's thoughts, as well as how much economic stimulus will come based off the island's six days of toll relief. Looking at, at this holistically, we know that for the county and for the city to give up even a day of tolls, it's it's tax dollars that, that the county and the city desperately need. So it is a, a very much a win-win. And But to answer your question, yeah, it's a great start in the right direction. Lai, for example, says one day of business can result in an extra $10,000 for a restaurant. He says a big part of the island's slow economic recovery is less than 10% of the hotel inventory selling compared to before Ian about getting our our residents and our business owners that live and play in, in Lee Collier and Charlotte to Sanibel Captiva Islands. Um, that's exactly why. Chamber says even if it's not Sanibel or Captiva, we're all still recovering from Hurricane Ian. If you can, it's best to support our local businesses. In Punta Rossa, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.